My name's Marjorie Chapman, okay? I got a text from a dear friend of mine. Her husband happened to be watching the news and saw when you were out interviewing the homeless people. Yes. The guy with the helmet in a wheelchair, that's the brother I've been looking for for like 25 years. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. How you doing, man? So he had been in Oceanside, you know, for the last 25 years. They had lived here on and off, but Barney was you know, part of the workforce. He was working, he had a home, he had a girlfriend, had a dog, and then he got in a car accident and it took his leg about uh, 17 years ago. And, and he kept on working, but eventually it got harder and harder for him to work. But when we found him, he was on the grass under a tarp with his dog. Hey, man, he come around, homeless outreach cops, you know. I think it's set up to fail. When we first met Barney, he gave us a card actually of a gentleman who is supposed to be, um, he's either his social worker or in some way supposed to be helping him. And he said, can you reach out to him? I've called him, you know, a hundred times, never got a return call. I called 15, 20 times. This other woman called 10, 15 times, not a single return phone call. And it wasn't just him that we called. We called every department there. No one ever called back. And so while there are all these programs, uh, reaching the help to utilize the program is a whole separate, you know, issue. What do you think of your sister reaching out to me? That's amazing. It's amazing, right? What do you think if I came down here a day and we got you on the phone with your sister? Would that be okay? Yes, I don't want her to worry, you know. Well, she called me today and I'm going to tell you what she was already worried. I believe it. <laughs> How can we not be worried about you, bud? You're on the street. It makes me cry. Yeah, me too. Another lady and I have got him uh, into a hotel while we've been trying to either get him into an RV or get him into senior housing. If you need anything, call me. I'm on it's been about a month now that we've had him completely off the street. Uh, and as you can see from the photos, he's changed a lot. I mean, it's amazing what a month inside will do. He's all smiles. We got him cleaned up, new clothes, got his hair cut. You know, he's looking and feeling like uh, his full self again. Uh, but we invited his sister to come out and she came out yesterday, went to church with us. We had a reunion. I mean, it was just uh, like a fairy tale, you know, uh, ending. So it was just amazing, a chain of events. Uh, overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Right. I just, you know, I worry, you know, no. I mean, it's like, we used to be like this. You boy, you better not disappear no more. That's yeah. all I have to say. Because I, I need you in our life. Oh, uh, no. yeah, I hear you. I don't ever want to see a picture of you laying on the side of a hill in the grass. Oh, shit. <laughs> The government is not doing a good job taking care of anyone, let alone your homeless relatives. He was failed so many times, but certainly by the city of Oceanside, he was definitely failed. He does not have a drug and alcohol problem, doesn't have um, a mental health problem. He desperately wanted to be inside the whole time. And if this is happening to Barney and he's circumstantially homeless and can actually speak, you got to think what's going on with all the people who aren't good self-representatives. You know, lots of money comes in for these programs, but not a lot of money goes out. I mean, it's embarrassing if you think that two regular citizens had to go take someone off the street, right? It's like, I found Barney accidentally. By some miracle, his sister happens to see this, and then we get him off the street. That, you know, that, that doesn't happen. But I got to think, if two regular people can do this, why can't all of our billions of dollars do more? In less than two months, we've been able to completely transform Barney's life. There's more of us out there that want to help, and there's more Barneys out there to be helped. So America, my my word for you is lean in. Lean into this problem. Stop waiting for the government to fix every single thing because they are not going to.